Hello all, Nina here. I don't think I've introduced myself as Nina. I don't think I say anything when I come on here. Anyway, I'm Nina and uh, my channel is a shopaholic treasure. So welcome back to my channel. <laughs> I love my dress, right? It's a maxi dress and it drags the floor. I'm like 5'11", so it's very hard for me to find dresses that drag the floor, but I love it. So if you see this in several videos this summer, just know that it's washed and it's clean, but I'm wearing a dress again because I love it, okay? And unless I find another one at the thrift store, I will not be buying another one because I don't want to pay $25 when I can go to the thrift store and get a bag full of clothes for $25. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, let's get started. It's just a mini little haul. I'm, I'm trying to switch my closet to like fancy stuff, but when I see like the mall brands, I just can't not get it. You know what I'm saying? Like I just need to get these things, which I'm just thinking I've seen a lot of Ann Taylor stuff when I should have picked that stuff up because Ann Taylor sales I think the last couple things that I sold was actually Ann Taylor do you guys want a what sold video I know it's only a few of you guys but I can do a what sold video I'll have to figure out how to do it but I will do it for you you or you <laughs> anyway so let's get started I found these socks I love comfy socks of course I live in the Midwest and it's freezing so in the winter time so I was like brand new socks with tags I cannot pass up because how much are these $12.99 for the regular these ain't even a pound I pay less than a dollar for these so yes into my closet they go that's my problem with thrifting I find everything even for me my place is a mess and full of stuff <laughs> I found this old school Lily Pulitzer mini skirt somebody like this I just sold a um, collared shirt not too long ago. And they sure did buy it. They sure did. Um, I got these fit flops. I remember I sold these um, last summer. Not this exact pair, but the brand. And I was like, mm, let me go ahead and grab these fit flops. These fit flops. Let me grab these fit flops and throw them up on eBay. Or Poshmark. I'm trying to get away from eBay, but y'all will not believe this find that I thought was legit, but it was actually bootleg. I'll show you at the end. But anyway, I have a Vineyard Vines, which I want to throw this through the washer a little bit because they look a little. Let me. Um. I do want to throw this in the washer. It looks nice, bright and white, but it's a little dingy but not quite but i just want to give it a run through in the washer you know vineyard vines vineyard vines was just my thing the other day just a little uh, pullover jacket then i have this vineyard vines and i found a vineyard vines t-shirt that i didn't put in my haul um the other day i'm like who's getting rid of all day vineyard vines then i found this one Somebody's gonna love all this vineyard vines. You know what I'm saying? Somebody. Then I found this Bowden top. Bowden, Bowden, Bowden. Just a Bowden top. Uh, this brand is called Yummy Kim or Yumi Kim. Um, Yumi Kim. I'm talking about Yummy. Yummy is Y U M M Y. This is Y-U-M-I. So Yumi Kim. This is 100% silk top. That feels good. I might have to. See, that's the hard thing. You know you be wanting to keep all the nice stuff that you find. But girl, you this is your business. You know. Then here's a flying tomato top. Which I've sold flying tomato pants. I have a pair of shorts up that has yet to move. But this top i figured somebody might love this although i don't like that elastic at the bottom but somebody's gonna love that just cute little sheer top then i found me some trina turk which i probably should have just not got this but i thought it was cute though cute little summer top trina turk the swimsuit covers and swimsuit still great but not I haven't found any t-shirts or anything. Now this is Skies Are Blue. I don't know what, I think this is Stitch Fix. I remember I put a shirt up for Skies Are Blue. It sold in like less than 30 minutes. It was just a little 
a little t-shirt I mean a little shirt a little cute little shirt I think it was a floral shirt I tried to tie that and it did not work but this is cute I think it's a small petite SP cute little shirt I'm not petite so I can't wear that this is so I'm thinking about I mean I have a job as a nurse I just got it so I keep running across scrub tops and they're so cute like they're not like the boxy ugly kind but it's cute they're so cute now all I have to do is find pants I don't even know what I'm supposed to be wearing to this job that I just found but hopefully it's anything or else I'm gonna be mad that I bought these tops <laughs> But they didn't cost anything. This one is super cute. Super, super, super cute. Super cute. Super, super, super cute. Super cute. I'll never, ever buy scrub tops again. I'll probably have to buy the pants, though, because I am tall. And I like my pants to, like, drag around. I like everything to drag around. And it's hard for me to find things to drag around. This here is an Oscar by Oscar de la Renta. I just got this because it's 100% silk and it weighed absolutely nothing. I paid, probably paid like three cents for this, if that. So I'm going to see how that works out for me. Now, I don't know how to say this. Osil? Osil? I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm butchering it. I know. No idea. Uh, no idea how to say this. But it's a little... um you know what it is sports bro i thought it was cute so i grabbed it we'll see i looked up the brand i think it's going for a decent price but here's another bowden piece here's another bowden piece here's another bowden piece this is a wrap dress which i remember one time for when i first started selling stuff somebody like dogged me after i sent them this dress they was like this is not a wrap dress this is a size 10 or 6. I wasn't aware that wet wrap dresses like tied in here. The dress that I sent only had like an outside tie. It looked like a wrap dress because it was like cut down like this, but it was like connected. It wasn't like literally wrapped like that. So I was like, oops, my bad. <laughs> my bad, sugar. Now I got this because it was new with tags. Like I have a hard time leaving. Oh, is that dirt? I have a hard time leaving new with tags items behind. It's just a nautica little pullover men's shirt. Now this I think it's anthropology. I don't even excuse me, I don't even know how to say it. Leaf so uh listen. Anthropology is what I think it is when I looked it up. But I don't know. But I'm mad that I found a little spot on it I don't know I'll look it up again and see exactly what uh, the brand is but I hate I, I tell myself I was gonna stop buying white stuff because in the store I can never tell if it's anything on there and so I got home and I seen this little spot I wonder can y'all see it no y'all uh, you can yeah I think you can see just a little bit Either way, it's a spot on there and I'm mad. I'm going to stop buying white stuff because I can't, my eyes don't see right in the store. And then when I get home, it's a spot. Even though this didn't weigh much, so it probably didn't cost anything but still. Let me show you these two cute little things. Oh, these uh, shorts, Iviva shorts. Iviva is the Lululemon for the girls brand. These little girls. So I always pick those up when I run across. Now this, this isn't the cutest, but I grabbed it. Just a little cute vest. My cousin's having a baby. But how cute is this? Oh my gosh. This almost gave me baby fever just by finding this. Tahari baby. Like, for real, this is the cutest thing. Even the inside is cute. How could I not pick this up? Now let me show you the find that I was excited to find. But then, just before I sat down to make this video, realized that is bootleg where did it go i lost it that fast in this pile come on now oh here it go so i thought i had hit a lick right 
I thought I hit a lick and they crooked. I say it and they crooked. I can feel them. They crooked on my face. They crooked on my face. <laughs> so y'all, why I thought these was Gucci, right? Gucci. I wish I could show y'all, but I know y'all won't be able to see this because I could barely see it. Oh, you can see it a little bit. I thought these was Gucci, right? But as I got to looking, I was like, G-U-G-C-I. That ain't how you spell Gucci. Gucci is G-U-C-C-I. Like, I thought I had me something. Good thing I didn't pay much of nothing for these either. Because I would have been highly upset. And then I asked this older lady that I talked to in there. I was like, do these look um, real to you? And she was like, yeah. They look authentic, and I don't think they would, you know, make some fake Gucci glasses. I'm like, the people bootleg everything, okay? And I should have known because she pulled out her magnifying glass. So I feel like she couldn't see anyway. <laughs> so now I'm stuck. Well, I ain't stuck because I'm just probably throwing away. But Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. I don't know, child. G U G C I. It ain't what it's supposed to be. <laughs> so I'm upset now. But anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. And until my next haul, don't spend your money on it all. I don't know. <laughs> Bye.